There are several features that will assist you in grading students' work in Google Classroom. By setting up your classroom and the assignments correctly, you will have more ease when grading. It is good to note that you will still need to transfer these grades to your Synergy gradebook, yet this will be a great place for parents and students to see progress on an assignment. One of the first things you can do is make the assignment. When you click on Create, you'll be able to add it to the topic or make an assignment. Be sure that all assignments are in a topic and that are not listed separately. Keep all assignments organized and named clearly. You will also be able to choose the point value, the due date, and even release the assignment on a schedule. Within the setup for the assignment, you can also attach a drive file, a link, an image, and other items into the assignment as well as a description of the assignment. Make sure that if you give any Google Doc or slide resources that you make a copy for each student. This will ensure that they can open the document and directly type on the document. Students should not be given PDFs and they should not be using the pen function in the Google Classroom app and drawing on the PDF and using a text box. This feature does not work in the app and will result in students not completing the work their work will be blank. Go to wcpsmd.com and then go to the iParent portal. You'll then go to the Family portal and click on Google Classroom. You'll be able to see that there's many resources there for you, including how to turn in work correctly. In addition, there are several other features under Assignment in Google Classroom on the Teacher View. On the right hand side, when you create the assignment, you will see a rubric. Here you can create a rubric for the assignment. This must be created prior to assigning the assignment. This will help students see the rubric as they work on the assignment prior to it being graded. Underneath the rubric, you will see check plagiarism. This is the originality report. WCPS has purchased Google Enterprise and originality reports are available for teachers to use. By clicking on the box to check plagiarism, originality reports will be automatically added to the assignment and can be used after the assignment is turned in. Once students finish the assignment, most teachers click on the assignment and start to choose each student and grade work. Stop for a moment once you click on the assignment. You will see in the lower left hand corner the words view assignment. Click on those words. Afterwards, you may choose a student. You will see that it will open up to the student's work, but also have a bar on the right hand side of the assignment. Underneath the assignment listed, you will see an area to add a grade, as well as your rubric if you chose to add one. You may also add private comments in this area as well. In the bar that separates the student's work and the area you just explored are two icons. The top one will be highlighted with a blue circle. Click on the bottom one and highlight it blue. This will go to a comment bank. There will be some basic comments already generated for you. You may click on Add to Bank and add your own comments. This comment bank can be used on any of your Google Classroom assignments from class to class and assignment to assignment. When you get a lot of comments, you are able to begin to type the word you need in the search box in the comment section and all comments associated with that word will appear. Also within this section will be originality reports. You'll be able to turn it on and run it within this section. Originality reports will allow you to see if a student's work is their own or if any of their work has been plagiarized. Once you have graded all the work within the assignment, you can click on the assignment and click on View Assignment. You will see a listing of each student on the left side of the screen. You can click the box that will check each student and then hit Return. Another thing to note is that you may go into your settings cog in the upper right hand corner and choose grading options if you wish. 
You have several choices that can be on display for students when they check grades in Google Classroom. If you would like to receive notifications when students turn in work, you may click on the three lines in the upper left hand corner and go to the very bottom and click on the settings cog. This will set up notifications for all your classes. It is best to use Office 365 filters if you want to limit the number of notifications you get instead of limit notifications in Google Classroom. If you would like to learn more about Google Classroom, WCPS has a PD module that will assist you with more videos and resources. You can find the resource by going to wcpsmaryland.com, click on the employee portal, and choose professional learning. Afterwards, choose professional videos and choose Google. The Google Classroom PD module will be in this listing along with other PD modules if needed. In the next video, you will learn how to communicate with parents.